what we were trying to do was set you a challenge mm. of you've got so many dates in Milton Court, how much variety can we come up in those concerts? Do your worst, because mm. this, is, this was ultimately about saying we want to cre create a thread through this season and we want to give that curation side over to mm. literally a musical provocateur mm. in this case. Mm. To create that thread was something that was missing in the Milton Court's annual programming in the very short time that the hall's been opening so far, have been open so far. So this is really uh, just a wonderful opportunity. Well, we were talking before discussing the electronic music department at Guildhall. Twenty years ago, it it wouldn't have existed like this. Um, certainly, when I went through a conservatorium in Sydney and and in Switzerland. Electronic music was buried, you know, I mean, well, still buried, it's <laughs> underground, but... but well, we are going to let you out but, into yeah, the sunlight of Milton but, Court. You know, it, the, the tools that you find in electronic music, the electronic music world, are now the main tools for composing for a lot of people. I mean, if you just look at, you know, the music writing programs of Sibelius and Finale and so forth, but also the sounds that you can capture in the digital world are used all the time by composers now. The, I think the notion of a composer sitting like Mahler, you know, outside of v Vienna in, 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 his know, hilltop, in the little hut. Yeah. But, um, you know, the, the thought of a, a composer sitting there with a pen and paper, I, I think it's possibly a dying process. That's, but for you who spends a good part of your annual schedule in acoustic terms to be working with these students who are completely submerged mm. in electronic Yeah, forms. their instruments are laptops. How, how has that mix been for you? Well, increasingly I've been devoting a lot of my time to um, creating electronic sounds over, over the past few years, either through films in a sort of fairly commercial way or creating these uh, crazy multimedia projects.